hey guys, we are camped for the night. What a spot this is. We are here at Cresswell Beach. We're gonna camp here the night, right on the coast, right on the ocean, go to sleep to the sound of the waves, and we'll see you guys in the morning. Oh, it's morning. What an absolutely amazing place to have spent the night. I've spent some of my nights in some pretty amazing places, but never, never by the coast like this. And this was absolutely stunning. So we were camped up off of a cliff up there. Uh, a few other vans and motorhomes and things like that. But yeah, I woke up in the middle of the night. And somebody, well, just had to pee, you know, as you do. Um, and just listen to the sounds of the waves uh, as I went back to sleep. It was absolutely incredible. What's really cool is this black sand. Look at this and the rivulets and wow, it's like artwork. But yeah, it's like artwork. <laughs> absolutely incredible. Well, we didn't quite get a sunrise, but it's still beautiful out here. Dogs are having an absolute blast. They love these big, wide, hard-packed, sandy beaches where there's nobody else on them. It's the only time I like sand, when you can actually walk on it and it doesn't, you don't sink into it, get your feet wet, and it doesn't get in your shoes. So, the dogs are having an absolute blast. It's such an amazing beach. Good boy, come on. Come on. Oh, that's a good boy. Don't get distracted. Good boy. Touch. Good boy. What an absolutely epic way to start the day. Oh, beautiful sunrise to an extent. Still going on. Oh my gosh, this place is gorgeous. And basically had the beach for myself because low tide is about 7.30. Uh, I think the fishermen are basically... They, they obviously as they were out here last night as well. But anyway, we're heading along up the coast. Right, guys, so here we are at Warkworth Castle. Um, originally, original Martin Bailey laid stones were probably laid around the 11th, uh, 1100s, so the 12th century. Um, but in the 1300s, it was actually actually a proper castle. Uh, but in the 1300s, I think it was like 1327, um, this area was besieged by the Scots, um, and, but it was failed to be taken, which is really, really good. But it was a long standing building, or long standing castle in the, the war between England and Scotland. Um, and it is, you can, you can see this, a lot of this is still intact. Um, and this castle was owned by the Percy family for the longest time, which was the Earl of Northumberland, who also owned Alnwick Castle, not far down the road from here. Um, but from my understanding, this was their favorite place of residence versus that. So they lost it in the 17th century, but it was later restored to them and they still live. Um, the Percy family and the descendants still live in Alnwick Castle just down the road. I feel like we're sort of laying siege to the castle, coming across the gate, over the moat. 
This is really beautiful. So if you see up here, this lion badge, you'll see in a lot of places, it's very important of the Percy family um, as their uh, personal symbol, but it doesn't look a whole lot like a lion, does it? It's kind of a very goofy looking lion. So we're standing in where the garrison would have been stationed. We've got either arrow slit holes where they would have been able to fire arrows at not a huge selection out there, but you know, you make enough damage to the ones that are visible and they cover an awful lot of space. This is just one of the coolest things, castles I've seen for a while, but obviously we've got this level right here, but there would have been another floor above this where they would have been shooting out of. Um, on that level as well. So what we're in is the ancient, the most, the oldest part of the castle which would have been, so we're in the entrance hall, but this is what it would have been the keep. It's, it's a cross-shaped keep um, in the sense that it resembles a church um, with the cross section, but we're just sort of Wandering around, so we have a guard room right here with a basin. Um, there's a trap door even right here. That's kind of crazy. Now we're just gonna go up some stairs. This is kind of the coolest thing. I love exploring these places. Wow. I don't know what this was, but more arrow slits. Oh, maybe this was the toilet on Wonders. I just see this tiny little boat. I really hope that's not all we have to get in because that's um, that's gonna make me nervous. Oh well, that's definitely the boat. Here's the landing. That wasn't too bad for me anyway, but a little wobbly. But Cody certainly didn't like it, especially without any grip on the bottom of the boat. Um, thankfully it only takes about two minutes to cross. So we're gonna go check out the chapel. This was a chapel that was actually built into the very wall of the rock itself. Absolutely beautiful. It's just very, very cool to see, but I've got to bet these ancient yews are as old as the chapel itself, or at least fairly close. But you can see up behind me where it was actually built into the rock, so that's the next place we're going to go check out. So this would have been the actual chapel part in here. And even though it's very dark, there is supposed to be a nativity scene uh, in here somewhere. 
believe it's this. What an absolutely cool, cool thing. Just built straight into the rock, carved beautifully. Oh, wow, this is definitely worth taking the extra time to come check out. It's small, there's not much to it, but it's worth checking out if you're here on a Sunday or Monday. So this hermitage um, dates from the 14th century and records are kept by the Lord or you know the Lord of Summer Lamp at Warkworth Castle. And the hermitage is or the hermit's duty was basically to offer up prayers to God for the well-being and health of the Lord, the lady, the house, Warkworth Castle, um, etc. etc. Which I can definitely think of worse places to live than this. Even to pray every day. a very very cool experience definitely worth checking out both the castle and the chapel uh, so we're gonna head back to the car hope you guys enjoyed the video and as always guys thanks for watching